putting North Dakota first. Welcome back. We continue our KX conversation this Monday with one of North Dakota's voices on Capitol Hill, Republican Representative Kelly Armstrong. Hello, Congressman. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Let's start with one of the biggest pieces of news at the moment, the statewide mask mandate announced late Friday. Do you think it's a good idea for North Dakota? Well, I've always said that, I mean, when you're doing these mandates, you better be willing uh, to enforce them. But obviously, the, the rate of infection and just the... Uh, I mean, talking to medical professionals across the state and the stresses that are going on in our medical facilities. So uh, the governor's uh, making decisions that he thinks are important, and we got to get this virus under control because we got to get our economy back on track. Now, Congressman, earlier this month, you won your race for re-election. What's your biggest priority for your next two years in Washington? I think it's the same as it's been for two years, is making sure that, I mean, at a very simple way, is that the federal government stays out of the way and lets North Dakota do what we do best, and that's feed and fuel the world. So uh, that doesn't change. Uh, I think government's best is close to the people, and the more we can have North Dakotans in charge of North Dakota destiny, the better off we're going to be. And on that note, how will you achieve your priorities with another Democratic majority in the House and a Democratic president taking office in January? Yeah, so we're going to have divided government. I mean, the worst case scenario for Republicans is it'll be 50-50 in the Senate after the runoffs in Georgia. And I just quite frankly think we will win both those races. So you work, I mean, you work with the people on issues that you um, care about and you try and find bi bipartisan support for things that are important. And then on the bigger issues where Republicans and Democrats really truly do have large philosophical differences, we'll continue to advocate for the positions we think are better for North Dakota. Uh, I'm used to working on both sides of the aisle. I did it in the state Senate, even in, even in serving on judiciary, which was a highly partisan committee over the last two years, we've found places to work with both Democrats and Republicans uh, to advocate for things that are important, criminal justice reform, uh, different issues, immigration reform, we've got to continue to work on. It's a huge issue in North Dakota and across the country. So we'll work with anybody and everybody if it advances North Dakota's, uh, North Dakota's interests. And do you have any notion on whether or not North Dakotans should expect more COVID relief anytime soon? We're going to, I mean, I just got to believe we're going to get another COVID package done, uh, whether it's for rural health care, uh, obviously a PPP extension. I think the announcements for the Vaccines are fantastic. Uh, I think it becomes even more important now to get an extension of the PPP because it's going to take time to deploy these even once they get uh, available for the public. And we have to figure out a way to bridge that for our small businesses. You know, with even even before the mandate, but with the mandate, I mean, the economics for a restaurant don't work at 50 percent capacity. It doesn't work for the short term, let alone the long term. And we need to be able to get some relief out to our North Dakota businesses. Congressman Kelly Armstrong, thank you so much for your time.